This is a model of the lower spine. To orientate yourselves, this is the front, and this is the back, and this would be the right, and this is the left. Modern lifestyle dictates that we do a lot of bending forward, what we call flexion. One of the exercises we've done is called the back extension, which goes this way. One of the reasons for doing this is because between the bones, you have what we call discs. The discs are made up of two distinct materials. The outside is a hard, fibrous substance. The inside is a little bit like a soft jelly or a toothpaste. When we bend forwards, as you can see, we put pressure on the front of the disc. That has the effect of pushing the inner part of the disc, which is the soft jelly-like substance, towards the back. These represent the nerves that come out of the spine. If I turn the spine around, there's an illustration. This red piece indicates a slipped or a protruded disc, where the excess pressure on the front of the disc has pushed the jelly-like substance towards the back, and that has caused it to bulge, sometimes to burst through. The pain is then caused by this, touching upon the nerve or the ligaments that are in that area. And this can cause pain such as sciatica, which is pain down towards the, the bottom on the leg, and various other forms of back pain. The back extension exercises we did was to try and set this disc, the soft jelly-like substance, towards the front to counteract all of the bending and the flexing that we do in everyday life. This is the right knee. So this is the outside of the right knee. This is what's called the kneecap or the patella. This is the femur and this is the tibia. So this is the right leg. This is the outside, this is the inside. One of the most common problems that we see with excessive bending or kneeling is what we would call patellofemoral pain or kneecap pain. This is the patella, this is the femur. One is grooved to fit in the other. So as we bend and straighten our knee, they should groove quite easily through each other. Unfortunately, for a number of factors, some traumatic, some just simply mechanic, this tracking mechanism works doesn't quite work. What often happens is the kneecap pushes out of the groove a little, and then when you bend and straighten your knee, it rubs excessively, and that can cause pain. This is made worse by kneeling, sitting for long periods of time, and also by being overweight, as that puts a lot more pressure on the kneecap. One of the exercises we did was the straight leg raise with external rotation. That was designed to look at a muscle that sits on this side of the joint, so it tries to hold the kneecap back in its other position to stop it from pulling across to the outside, thus trying to correct that tracking motion. This, along with an alteration of some of the excessive activities, can have a significant impact on solving this type of knee pain.